we start with this unfortunate doe who has gotten some choya stuck to her nose and lower lip. Life is tough in the desert. Next, we will see a group of javelina approach to check out the water bowl, hang out, and graze a bit. There's one of them that has been foraging with great gusto and has stuff on both ears. And at different times, he'll shake and get one ear clean and then shake again right at the end of the segment and get the stuff off of his other ear. I always enjoy having the javelina come by. Uh, they're interesting to watch. They have some really interesting group dynamics that we'll get into a little bit more later on. But uh, yeah, they're welcome guests at my house anytime. Let's check it out. He got one ear clear. Now you see on his left ear, he's got something there. He's found a nice succulent little weed with nice soft leaves to eat and once he gets that down he's going to give one more good shake and get that piece of plant matter or whatever that is off of his left ear they're always so interesting come on buddy shake it off come on there it is okay this one i had to have because these rabbits are just crazy look how they just hop around like that it's Kind of amazing. I don't see too many rabbits out late at night, at least this time of the year, because you know they're on the menu. Look at that hop hop. Now we're going to have a little bit more hopping before we'll move on to kind of a sad segment. Hop hop, and then let's. There we go. Interesting. So and we see this injured coyote with his right forepaw. Uh, out of service. I really hate to see that, but again, life is tough. Now there's a dove that has been sitting on my camera. It flies down to the water bowl. I play it again in slow motion because I think bird flight is so beautiful. It's just really cool to watch. Now doves can drink with their head down. In other words, they can kind of swallow upwards, you know, against gravity. Most other birds have to dip their beak in and then tilt their head back to get the water down. But doves and uh, pigeons can drink like people drink. There he goes. Now we've got some javelina coming up to the water bowl and they have a little baby with them. And those are always cute. He'll be here shortly. Here comes another one. They always travel in, well, let's say not, a, there's the baby. They usually travel in groups. Uh, I have a theory that during the summer they break off into more singles than you would normally see because, you know, it's not cold and they don't need the group for uh, warmth. So they tend to travel a little more lightly in the summer. But it's starting to get cool at night again and the javelina are more commonly seen in, in uh, groups now. This is our huge, I call it a seven point. He's got three points on one side and four on another. This is an impressive buck. Haven't seen him for a while, but here he is in the uh, evening. And then in two different days, you'll see him here. He shows up twice in two consecutive days. And this is a massive specimen of a mule deer buck. He is just absolutely stunning. Got a little itch going on right there. Buddy bent down so he could see that big rack. And then once he walks off, we'll see him the following day. There he is again at the water bowl, kind of antsy with that right leg. And he will depart the screen. And then next, we're going to have one of our all-time favorite birds, the Roadrunner come up. He, he has drunk from the water bowl, but today he didn't. He just checked it out, and then he's just kind of running around. And, it, you know, an amazing fact about roadrunners is they are called zygodactyls, and that's because they have two front toes and two back toes. Not very many birds have that configuration, and it is perfect for them for uh, hunting lizards and snakes and, and the like. They also eat quail babies and other birds, so they'll 
get whatever they can get their claws on. And here's a couple of beautiful coyote visiting at night. I wish I could have seen what that coyote closest to the camera saw. And then here's another lone coyote just kind of um, cruising through. And then we have another group of javelina that have come through visiting and uh, they have a baby with them. He'll show up here in just a minute. And uh, you have to be extra careful around javelina that have babies with them. If you're ever out walking with a dog and you see javelina with baby, immediately turn around and go the other way. There's the baby right by the water bowl. This is back when the grass was really tall and it's almost hard to see the baby there. But uh, javelina consider a dog a coyote and it is a predator for them when they're sick or, or weak like that. See the one coming into the screen now, he's got an injured foreleg. So they consider dogs predators and they will attack. And then uh, we'll finish up with a couple of uh, handsome, handsome mule deer. It'll be on the screen in just a second. Look at that little baby, isn't he cute? So tiny. There he goes. Okay, so we've got a doe cruising through the screen and we've got a buck that's gonna take a protracted drink of water here. And he is just gorgeous. This was back when he still had the felt on his antlers. Now all the felt is gone and there he goes. And I would like to thank you all for watching. I appreciate it.